In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NBA game happening on June 16, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NBA game. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Golden State Warriors vs. Boston Celtics The NBA Finals shift back east as the Boston Celtics host the Golden State Warriors on Thursday night in a pivotal Game 6 clash. The Warriors seized a 3-2 lead in the series after a win in Game 5 backed by a dominant fourth quarter and an excellent 26-point performance from Andrew Wiggins. Now they will look to seal the franchise's fourth title in the last eight seasons. Boston has been excellent with their backs up against the wall all postseason going 3-0 in elimination games so far. The Boston Celtics are now aiming to force a dramatic Game 7 after coming up short against the Warriors on Monday. Jason Tottenham led the team with 27 points, 10 rebounds and 4 assists on 10 of 20 shooting. Marcus Smart added 20 points while Jalen Brown chipped in with 18 points, 9 rebounds and 4 assists. As a team, the Celtics shot just 41% from the field and 11 of 32 from the three-point line as they got off to another slow start and managed just 16 points in the first quarter to fall behind by 12 points going into halftime before they exploded for 35 points in the third quarter to take the lead. However, they went ice cold again in the fourth quarter where they managed just 20 points to allow the Warriors off the hook in the end. Brown shot just 5 of 18 from the field and 0 of 5 from the three-point line and no bench player scored more than three points. Meanwhile, the Golden State Warriors are now just one win away from another NBA championship after outlasting the Celtics in a pivotal 104-94 home win in Game 5 on Monday. Andrew Wiggins led the team with 26 points and 13 rebounds. Klay Thompson drained five three-pointers to finish with 21 points. Stephen Curry added 16 points with eight assists while Gary Payton chipped in with 15 points off the bench. As a team, the Warriors shot 46% from the field and 9 of 40 from the three-point line. But this win was more about their effort on the defensive end as they held the Celtics to just 16 points in the first quarter to take the early double-digit lead before they held the Celtics to just 20 points in the fourth quarter to pull away and win comfortably in the end. Curry had a rough shoot night as he shot 0 of 9 from the three-point line and Otto Porter Jr. scored just two points, but Wiggins carried the offense for most of the contest while Thompson heated up late to make up for Curry's quiet night. Looking at the betting trends, the Warriors are 2-6 against the spread in their last eight road games, 8-3 against the spread in their last 11 games against a team with a winning record, and 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games as an underdog. The Celtics are 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 games playing on two days rest, 25-11-1 against the spread in their last 37 games against a team with a winning record, and 17-8-1 against the spread in their last 26 games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 19-7 in the last 26 meetings overall. The Warriors are 1-3-1 against the spread in the last five meetings in Boston, and the Warriors are 6-13-2 against the spread in the last 21 meetings overall. The Boston Celtics will try to stay alive and force a Game 7 in the NBA Finals as they host the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors were able to get the job done at home in Game 5 to take the lead in the series, and they were able to do it with Curry and Wiggins shooting a combined 0-15 of 15 from the three point line. The Celtics will be so disappointed that they weren't able to steal Game 5 as they seemed to have all the momentum going into the fourth quarter, but they shot themselves in the foot with 18 turnovers which was the difference in a close contest. In Game 5, Boston started out terribly and finished just as poorly as they combined for 36 total points in the first and fourth quarters of the game. Turnovers are still plaguing the Celtics as they had 18 of them in Game 5 continuing the trend of them losing seven of the eight games in which they have at 15 or more in this postseason. Boston also needs to find its offensive rhythm again. The Celtics averaged 118 points per game in their wins and just 93 in their losses. 
failing to reach 100 points in all three defeats. They are also shooting 49.5% from the field in their wins, but just 39.6% in their losses. Give credit to Golden State's defense as they finally held Boston to under 37% shooting from three-point range in Game 5. The spread is yet to matter in any game in this series, with all five winning teams covering two. If the Celtics can't get right offensively on their home court in their final home game of the season to force a Game 7, it tells you all you need to know. The Celtics' defense should hold to form in Game 6. They've played nearly flawless defense against the best shooting team this postseason and held them to just 105 points per game during the finals. The Warriors have been an elite home team all season going 41-11. They have been far less impressive on the road going just 26-24 straight up during the regular season and postseason combined. They are just 3-6 against the spread on the road in the postseason and now face the daunting task of winning in one of the most hostile environments in the sport against a Celtic team that has thrived in elimination games. Look for Boston to set the tone early led by their defense. The Warriors will once again struggle from beyond the arc. Jason Tottenham will help lead the offense to a much better shooting performance than we saw in Game 5 which will ultimately be enough to survive and force a Game 7. Boston has been resilient all postseason going 3-0 against the spread in elimination games. They are also 13-3 against the spread in their last 16 games following a loss. They will not be denied here. Boston has covered the number in three of its last five with one push at home against Golden State, and the Celtics have covered the number 13 of the last 21 overall against the Warriors. The Celtics have had plenty of time to mull over their missed opportunities and you just know the home crowd will have them primed to go, but the Warriors really flex their depth as they were able to get the win despite Curry having a poor shooting night. Boston's defense, which finished the regular season as number one in points allowed, will contain Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, and Andrew Wiggins this game. The Celtics haven't lost back-to-back -back home games in this postseason. That's enough for me to back Boston again to force a Game 7. While it's tempting to take the Warriors to seal the deal on the road, I believe that the Celtics get off to a better start and force a Game 7 here. Plus, I've always thought this was going to 7 games, so I won't back off that prediction now. So the Boston Celtics to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The formula for the total has been pretty simple in these finals. When Golden State has held Boston below 100 points, the total has stayed under. When the Celtics can push their offense over 100, the game has gone over. Boston has been held under 103 of the last four games. The turnovers continue to hurt the Celtics' scoring and have limited their offensive production. Boston started out 0-12 from three-point range in Game 5 and it led to them taking the fewest threes in any game these finals. They will need to be better at home from three and more consistent from the field. The Celtics just lost back-to-back -back games for the first time in this postseason, but still have not lost back-to-back -back games at home. If they are going to win, they need to score over 100 points this game, and that should happen. The Warriors can do their part as well. A game in which both teams are held below 100 points seems rather unlikely, unless it's just a poor shooting game all round. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.